How do you solve the complexities, the atrocities of racism? How do you reimagine an anti-racist world when we've only begun to recognize hate? I don't know. But what I do know is what unity looks like. It looks like what I've always known. My church giving my mama food when we needed it. The sharing of vaccines from one distribution organization to the next. The power of organizations coming together to fight against adultification bias. The arm-in-arm -arm march for black lives or the collaboration to end Asian hate. That is unity. A recent study in Austin found that 79% of black-led organizations did not have a system for collecting data, developing KPIs, or sharing their metrics. Hello, my name is Mimi Stiles, founder and president of Measure, and this is my team. Since 2015, we've been working directly with BIPOC-led organizations to more effectively identify their impact metrics. In order to meet demand for our services, we realized that we needed a software-based measurement platform too. That's why we launched Nexus, a free cloud native platform where black, indigenous, and all people of color can discover and share data, download dashboards with racial equity impact reporting, champion one another's outcomes on social media, and get notified about other organizations with similar goals. Last year, we tested this concept through the award-winning Innocence Initiative five organizations all tethered by one metric of serving youth. The result, changes in school policy to address the school to prison pipeline, the introduction of House Bill 3485, where we advocated for more transparent disciplinary data in schools, a mentorship program for 10 black girls in Travis County, the training of over 700 lawyers on how to protect black girls, and over $200,000 collectively invested in that initiative. Through a fully productized nexus, we can scale to serve hundreds of BIPOC-led organizations this year, thousands the next. We've already received commitments from five organizations focused on equity, BIPOC entrepreneurship, and health. Now it's the time to expand nexus to help support more organizations measure their impact. We're currently gathering additional feedback from community experts and establishing technical partnerships through Vindia, Bprint, and MIT to create the best user experience possible. In total, Nexus will require a little over 150,000 to roll out, $50,000 for the software, and 100,000 for the administrative and marketing costs. We've already raised $50,000 from the Child Poverty Action Lab, so we're asking you to help us close the gap on the remaining 100,000. It's our responsibility as those with access to technology to do justice. It's our part, that's unity. Thank you. I'll go first. Um, thanks for the amazing presentation and measurability is so important. Um, question is, uh, why are you limiting yourself as your um, target clients just to BIPOC-led organizations as opposed to some, uh, casting a wider net? Yeah, thanks for that question. So we're not, um, I wouldn't say that we're limiting ourselves to BIPOC-led organizations. It's, we're actually also including philanthropic organizations as a whole. There has to be a central place where philanthropic organizations can find BIPOC-led organizations. I have a belief that BIPOC-led organizations are the most qualified um, and the most, um, um, and, and should be the ones leading the work um, especially when it comes to meeting the needs of our own communities. But the problem is, is that the connect of getting funding to do the work is just not there. And so we are using this platform as a place where philanthropic organizations or businesses can purchase their own memberships to post RFPs, to let um, BIPOC-led organizations know about grants, et cetera. You know, it, there's so many organizations doing this work, but there's not a lot of organizations that are funded that look like me or that look like other BIPOC-led organizations that are the ones actually doing the work. And so this is the place for them to get funded. I have a question for you, Mimi. Uh, this is Otis. Um, I am, I'm curious about the pricing and, and whether what kind of conversations you're having around that with people, like what are they willing to pay? Um, so, yeah. No, I appreciate that. So first of all, um, it, you know, we're, we're rolling this out on a freemium 
um, based, right? So the first user is definitely free. I want to remove as many barriers to access as possible. And so any additional premium features of Nexus would be at a fee. We're just not sure what that is yet, though. But we do have that built into our rollout of Nexus. So, you know, the first year is really all about research and discovery. It's about sitting with our community, asking them for, you know, as even as I'm building this technology, I have to be really mindful not to do harm, right? And so I need to sit with our community, have community-led conversations about what it even looks like to, um, to work for them and how much they're able to even afford um, for additional users. But at the baseline, this is going to be free for the first user for the, you know, for their organization, and then cost will, um, will I'm sure that we'll, we'll, we'll gain that knowledge as we roll it out through our pilot. But essentially, it's also going to help measure grow in terms of our own funding, because we offer our services at cost to businesses and organizations in order to give our services for free to other um, black and brown BIPOC-led organizations. Mm -hmm.